The gentleman yields back the balance of his time. Pursuant to Clause 8 of Rule 20, the Chair will postpone further proceedings today on motions to suspend the rules on which a recorded vote or the yeas and nays are ordered or on which the vote is objected to under Clause 6 of Rule 20. Record votes on postponed questions will be taken later. For what purpose does the gentleman from Michigan rise? Uh, Mr. Speaker, I move that the House suspend the rules and agree to House Resolution 154. The clerk will report the title of the resolution. House Resolution 154, resolution honoring John D. Dingell for holding the record as the longest serving member of the House of Representatives. Pursuant to the rule, the gentleman from Michigan, Mr. Kildee, and the gentleman from Michigan, Mr. Upton, each will control 20 minutes. The chair recognizes the gentleman from Michigan, Mr. Kildee. Mr. Speaker, I introduce this uh, resolution along with my Michigan colleagues so that we might recognize the milestone reached by the gentleman from Michigan, John D. Dingell, who as of today has served longer in the House of Representatives than any member in its history. I have had the great privilege to work closely with John Dingell the past 32 years. I can tell you that through all the changes we have seen in this institution over those years, John Dingell has played a major role in those that have made this a better country. Throughout his tenure here, he has remained constant in his determination, his toughness, and certainly in his fairness. John knows of the great importance of the automobile industry in this country. He knows that when line workers can earn a decent uh, enough wage to support their family and send their children to college, our whole economy prospers. He knows that what America drives, drives America. John played an essential role in the passage of the Chrysler Loan Guarantee in 1979, which actually earned $311 million for our government. Recently, he provided a wealth of knowledge necessary to press the bridge loans to the big three automakers. John's expertise and devotion to providing all Americans with health care is unsurpassed in this Congress. Historians writing about health care will always note the role of two men bearing the name John Dingell, the one serving today and his father. His rich Polish heritage is demonstrated each year on Fat Tuesday when I enjoy the delicious punchki which he presents to me. I've always been grateful to have a reliable friend and advisor in John Dingell. Mr. Speaker, this is a better Congress, a better country, and I know I am a better congressman, but more importantly, a better human being because of John Dingell. Mr. Speaker, I ask unanimous consent that the gentleman from Michigan, Mr. Peters, be permitted to control the remainder of my time. Without objection, so ordered. From Michigan is recognized. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, today is Dingle Day. John Dingle has served more than 53 years in this body. And at a, re at a wonderful reception last night in Statuary Hall, it was commented over and over, it is not the length of his service, but it in fact is the quality of that service. And as chairman of the powerful Energy and Commerce Committee, he has been certainly one of the, the most influential legislators in the history of the United States. As he'd like to say, with jurisdiction over almost everything, in fact, I think he coined this term many years ago when he said, if it moves, it's energy, and if it doesn't, it's commerce. Uh, with that, our committee has that jurisdiction. And this resolution honors that service. Mr. Speaker, time will judge all of our actions and serves as the legacy that each of us will carry as it relates to the difference that we made on behalf of the districts that we represented, but also 
the nation that we serve. And history will certainly look favorably on the wonderful service of John Dingle in this body. He has been on the right side almost all the time, but not, not, not always. Uh, but certainly he's been an architect of the great debates that we have had in this chamber. John Dingle is a governing type of legislator, and, and he knows that good ideas are not just Democratic ideas, and that awful ideas are not just Republican ideas. He demands the best from all of us, and as a consequence, he has had tremendous relationships with the the uh, ranking member or the chairman of the Energy and Commerce Committee, certainly for all the years that I've served, whether it be with Norman Lent, Tom Bliley, Billy Tozan, and certainly Joe Barton, one of his best friends. He doesn't, John Dingle doesn't care about the pride of authorship. He wants the job done. We've sat and had many conversations about I issues that, I, that he's asked me to carry, and it has strengthened those bills as we move those pieces of legislation to the floor. We team most recently on the auto legislation. Uh, Dale Kildee, the sponsor of this resolution, myself, our co-chairs of the Auto Caucus, but together we team together with all of our Michigan colleagues, regardless of party, and we were able to shepherd that legislation through to really help try and save the manufacturing base of this country uh, over these last few months. For me, I've always enjoyed the relationship that I've had with my good friend, John Dingle. Obviously, there are times when we've been on the opposing side of an issue, but plenty of times when we've been on this, in the same foxhole, on the same side. And I'll confess, it's the latter that I enjoy the most. It's a lot easier for, I would like to think, the both of us when we're on the same side. But John Dingle plays by the rules. I think maybe in another life, he would have been an umpire or a referee. Uh, Ken Duberstein. Ronald Reagan's uh, former chief of staff said this uh, most recently. He, he followed wherever the facts dictated. Sometimes you don't like what he finds, but you know that he did it honestly. He is a straight shooter. Indeed, he is. We are a wonderful and diverse country, and we know that sometimes this is a very tough place uh, to govern. And it comes with a territory that to be a good legislator you need to be blessed with a lot of things. Luck is one. You need a great staff. You need a district back home that respects your decision making. You need colleagues that know that you're somewhat of an expert and they will, they will listen. But you also need a great spouse. All of those elements make a necessary and personal sacrifice to the success of your career. Well, John Dingle has been one that has hit a home run with all of those qualities. He has been a man for all seasons. He is a true giant in the history of this institution. We wish him well in the many years that he has left, and I reserve the balance of my time. The gentleman from Michigan reserves the balance of his time. The gentleman from Michigan, Mr. Peters, is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'd like to uh, thank my colleague uh, from Michigan, uh, Mr. Kildee, for yielding and for introducing this resolution honoring the distinguished dean of our delegation, Congressman John D. Dingell. Right, Mr. Speaker, I'd also like to yield myself such time as I may consume. Gentlemen, is recognized. I also, uh, Mr. Speaker, would like to ask unanimous consent that all members may have five legislative days in which to revise and extend their remarks and include extraneous material on House Resolution 154. Without objection, so ordered. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Well, here in Washington and across the country, Congressman Dingell is known and respected for his legislative accomplishments. But as a lifelong resident of Southeast Michigan, I know that Mr. Dingell's responsiveness and service to his constituents over 53 years is just as impressive. John Dingell has never lost touch with the people that he serves, and being their voice in Washington has always, has always been his top priority.